Hello everyone and welcome back to the Class 47 Peter YouTube channel and today we're here to take a look at the Batman Class 90 in Virgin Trains livery. So as I say, we're here today to take a look at the Batman Class 90 in Virgin Trains livery. This locomotive is 9004, City of Glasgow. This was announced by Batman last year in their winter announcements, I believe. And this was a must-have for me, because the Virgin Trains livery, I grew up with it in the early noughties, and I have loads of memories of this livery. And given the stock I already own in Virgin Trains livery, it would be rude to have not gotten the Class 19 Virgin livery. So it was an absolute must. The packaging that this model comes in is Batman's usual plastic ice cube packaging. It does a good job of protecting the model, but then, to be honest, I think it's really down to how this model gets treated as it's been delivered, basically. On this occasion, there was no bits loose in the box that had to glue back on again. So I think it suffice to say that this model was handled with care. So with the model name out of the box, we can admire all the detail on this model up close. And it has to be said that the detail on this model really is stunning. The model has sprung buffers and, like the prototype, they are retractable as I demonstrate here. The pantograph also has a servo motor fitted for DCC users, although I can't demonstrate this because I have DC, but it is sprung loaded as well. So the all important question, does it look like a Class 90? Yes. Batman really have captured the look of the prototype spot on and they've also captured the face superbly as well on the front we have separately fitted lamp irons you've got the jumper cables there then you've also got the light clusters and you've got the horn grill which is separately fitted and you've also got horns which are separately fitted behind those and that just looks stunning and on the buffer beam you have you can already see I've fitted all the buffer beam detail which I did prior to taking these photos You've also got the rubbing plate as well on the buffer beam. And I also like the white rims on the buffers, which I think really are quite striking and make this model stand out. On the roof we can see all the electrical equipment. And also, one of the roof mounted air vent boxes can also be removed if you want to change the lights to either on and off or if you want to change the day and night setting if you have analog also the roof section can also be removed to fit a DCC decoder you just undo four screws underneath the chassis and then the roof section comes off this model doesn't have any windscreen wipers and that is because in real life the windscreen wipers are hidden on the real locomotive although one could argue that perhaps they could have made it so that the windscreen wipers were there but were hidden if you get what I mean but make of that what you will or won't I personally don't think that the windscreen wipers still not being there detract from the model which they don't all the detail that's present on the bogies of the prototype are there you've got the springs and axle boxes you've also got some pipe work which is separately fitted and painted as well as the cab footsteps as well and just look at the amount of detail we have on the underframe. All that pipe work there, separately fitted and again painted. The battery boxes, etc. And all the other equipment there. It's The detail is just stunning. We have some very nice detail in the cab interior, which as you can just about make out in this photo, the detail is there and it is painted. And that does look really nice. 
The Louvre application on this model is absolutely gorgeous. They've got the red and the grey, or black as it's also known as, correct. It's also a very even coat of paint. There's no blemishes or imperfections anywhere at all. And also the white stripes and the Virgin logos and the logos are in number are all crisply printed and the printing on that is stunning. Also it is worth talking about the grills in the middle of the loco which are not painted, they are left red. That was as per the prototype when they were first rolled out of the paint shop. The grills in the middle of the body were not painted black, they would have got black later on from dirt and filth etc. Also it is worth talking about the handrails on the body sides. They are moulded but that's when you get up really close to them. When you're stood further away from them, you won't ever tell that they are moulded. But I don't mind them being moulded. I mean, they still look really nice. And they've been painted as well. I've also fitted the etched nameplates on this model. And I think the etched nameplates on these really do look stunning. And the nameplates on this loco have a red background, which I think is really nice. This model also comes with working directional head and tail lights, as you can see in this footage here. And also the performance on the mechanism of this model is silk smooth. It really is a beautiful runner. So now we've pretty much covered all the detail on this model. So now we're going to get into the running session. And I'm going to be getting 90.004, pulling my rake of Virgin Mark 3s and DVT round the layout. And also in this running session, I shall be getting it running in push-pull formation, propelling the set, as it would have done back in the good old days.
So that's the running session over and done with. So now I've just got to come on to my summary for this model. So the verdict, it's a superb model. To be able to now have the Class 19 Virgin livery to run on the layout with matching Virgin stock, I'm a happy man. I've always had a soft spot for the 90s and I've always loved the Virgin livery, so that's a win-win situation. But now, I do think that we need a Class 86 in Virgin livery, because I've got a 47, an 87, HST power cars and now a 90 in the Virgin red and grey livery or red and black as it's sometimes also referred to but now we need an 86 in this livery and once an 86 is released in this livery I'll pretty much then have the set so Helgen I'm looking at you please give us an 86 in virgin livery because then I'd be a very happy man indeed and if you do not have a Batman class 90 then I highly recommend them I personally couldn't pick foot with them if I tried so that's the end of this review for the Batman Class 90 in Virgin Trains livery. I hope you've all enjoyed it. As ever, please do subscribe to the channel if you like what you see. And also, don't forget to smash the like button. And also, why not check out all the other videos that I've got on the channel. But until then, stay safe and take care. Goodbye.